<laughs> I'm so shiny. Yeah, I feel me too. All right. Here with Matilda Castrian, Kelly Tan, the runners up of the Dow uh, Great Lakes Bay Invitational. Kelly, we were talking earlier with Kay about how this is your best finish. Can you just tell me what that means to you and to be able to do it alongside your best friend, Matilda? Yeah, it's been an unbelievable week. Um, it's just so awesome that I got to do it with my best friend, Matilda. And yeah, to have my you know, best finish on the LPJ tour and being able to have so much fun on this on the week as well. So that was amazing. I can't ask for anything else. Matilda, you were also saying with Kay that you, you wanted a solo second finish. So you, you figured out you were tied at one point during the round. And, and so what do you sort of do, say to Kelly, say to yourself to just turn around and, and get that solo second that you wanted? Yeah, I just try to like keep the spirits up like we've been doing all week. I mean, uh, we've both been doing that to each other. So just kind of keep it going and give ourselves some opportunities. And we had a, a lot of like close calls and uh, both of our birdie putts were close on 17. And um, on actually told my caddy that I wanted a solo, solo second. And he just told me better stick it close on 18 and don't have to worry about it. And uh, I did. I mean, it was a really good shot I hit. And it was a, a perfect number for my nine iron. So... Yeah, it was it was close to going in and it was just a very cool experience and cool moment for mm -hmm. for us. And uh, just to finish, finish second uh, with Kelly is just such a it was such a good week. We had so much fun. And I mean, of course, we wanted to win today, but uh, mm -hmm. Lizette and Jennifer, they just played unbelievable all week. And uh, yeah, I think I think we can be very happy with ourselves. Yep. Yeah. Let's talk about that last shot right here on 18. Um, like you said, you hit it really close to the pin, got that last birdie. How does it sort of make you feel to end the tournament on such a high note and with this amazing environment out here? Yeah, I mean, it's just a huge like adrenaline rush. Uh, I hit the shot and I knew it had a chance of being close and just landed uh, actually behind the pin and spun back a little bit. And I was kind of looking, looking, hoping that it would go all the way in. And I think the, the crowd, they were all cheering for it to go in as well. And uh, it was just like a little tap in. And I mean, you just can't ask for anything better on your last hole. I mean, we didn't have to be nervous about a putt or like hope for a birdie. We knew we had a birdie just walking up on, mm -hmm. to the green and uh, we had our walk up song and it was just a great feeling that we'll remember forever. I want to, I want to ask, I know Matilda is your maid of honor. Um, you guys talk a lot about, talk about the wedding at all out there. What do you guys talk about when you're, when you're having a fun, good round like this? Is it golf or are you just chatting and, and enjoying each other's company? You know, a lot of the time is Matilda is like, I smell food. I want some <laughs> burgers. Uh, it's really nothing serious or about my wedding at all. Though we do have a few tasks that I have to do for my wedding um, for the next couple of weeks here. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll get those stuff wrapped up. And yeah, it's just <laughs> been an unbelievable week and so much fun. Mm -hmm. How does sort of this week, um, this event prepare you guys going across the pond, Evian, major summer swing um, in Europe? Just how does this environment and this competition format help you to prepare for that? I'll go. Um, I think it gives us a lot of confidence boost um, mm -hmm. going to play over in Europe and mm -hmm. yeah there's two majors and I'm playing Evian Scottish and British so I really look forward to it and just knowing that you know the game is in the bag and just super excited. Mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of rest sort of in this format too um, sort of laid back and yeah we we're just like, talking about that we're like well we have like four weeks or five weeks in a row and but then I'm like you know really this is a half week but also playing in the final group it it does take a lot of energy out of us. So mm -hmm. we're going to fly tomorrow. So hopefully we get some rest and get adjusted when we get to Evian. Mm -hmm. Matilda, what was the best part of your game specifically this week that you hope to carry with you um, into the next couple of events you're in? Well, I think I'm, I'm hitting my irons really well. I'm mm -hmm. giving myself a lot of opportunities. And uh, the past couple of days, I wasn't that happy with my putting. I missed quite a few putts. And uh, today... Uh, it kind of turned around and I managed to make a lot of putts when it mattered. So I think that's what I'm going to take with me into the next few weeks. I'm really happy about that for uh, kind of being able to make some birdies and make some, some putts and hit good shots under under pressure. 
And last question um, for you, Kelly, you, you set out there with Kay that you guys sort of formed this relationship when you were maybe not playing as well as you wanted to be on the Epson tour. So how does it feel now to just be like at a really great point in your game, second place, like, like I said, best finish, um, knowing that your relationship formed maybe at a time you were, both weren't playing so great? Yeah, I feel like if you were to wind back the clock and you know, stop us there and literally tell us in a few years you guys are gonna play in this tournament. You're gonna do, the, you're gonna finish second. I think it was gonna be really hard for both of us to believe because mm -hmm. we both were really, you know, just. I just feel like at the lowest point of our career, and it just feels really good that you know we've got out of the hole and you know being able to compete at such high level and finish second this week, proven us that we could do it and. Yeah, just being able to, the fact that we went through adversity and now that we have a good finish, you kind of could taste the bittersweet feeling. And yeah, we just, I'm super glad and there's nobody else I would choose to share that with but her. Awesome. Thank you both so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.